again welcome to burn studio we're at my actual studio today and if you watched the first part of our video we did a little bit about gesture drawing now we're going to do the second part of our project and so we're going to come in here and we're going to make our own gesture person but we're going to do it out of foil and pipe cleaners so slave will you hand me two please sir mm -hmm. my lovely assistant slave now get two for yourself. All right, so the first thing you're going to do when you're coming in here is you're going to make the number eight. So you have to twist it around. Slade's never done this before, so he's doing it with me at the same time. Be careful of those ends. They can be a little bit, oh, they can be a little sharp. Let's see. Oh, he, see, look at that. He even beat me. So the top part of the eight is the head. The other part of the eight is going to be the body. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with mine. Then, so I get the scissors and go ahead and cut your other pot cleaner in half. And there we go. And I already have two already cut in half for me over there. All right. We have arms and we have legs. So I take the first part, put it through my belly, twist it around. Okay, now I have legs on my little stick figure. I get the other half and I come around the shoulders and I go in and out, in and out. Boom. I can make a muscle man. I can make it walk like an Egyptian. That's okay. So there you can see, that's the first part of my sculpture. Now while Slade's getting that part down, or here you can actually, we can work on this one together. I'm gonna grab some foil and some strips, okay? So I just get some foil and I get in like these nice little long strips. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. And I like to come in with all, well, oops, with these strips and I do one, is going to be the body just to give it a little bit more see that just crumbled up inside there and then do one that crumble up for the head oh that one might need to be the belly that's a big belly we're getting us a big belly during all this <laughs> quarantine <-ia. laughs> okay so i might have to lay that down oh yeah yeah there you go see there now, I'm gonna hand me some more strips, Mr. Slade. I might have you. Then I start just with the strips, covering the body like so. So that's the belly. Then, squishing that to make our little sculpture here. Squishing that body around the legs and the head. Oh, pour that one like crazy. in the head. So now you can start wrapping it. It's like we're making little mummies right here. We're wrapping the mummy. And I squish it as much as I want. And you're gonna take some time on this part. I'm working a little fast here. So far I just have the head and the body, but I would keep working on it, keep working on it. Get smaller strips for the arms. And wrap around the arms. There we go. Now, now you don't want to do small pieces. Because if you do, that's one thing Slate's kind of doing small pieces. If you do small pieces, then you just the mummy starts to unravel and fall apart. So, and you can always, ooh, this one was a cool that was inked before. You can always start with the belly again and then keep wrapping it around the legs. Squishing it, squishing it, squishing it. Now it's starting to happen a little bit more. Let me make the leg a little longer. Mine is very good. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. You wanna work on mine? Okay, so I have one arm-ish <laughs> and one leg. Now let me do the other side. 
long strips. That's the key here, long strips. How are we doing, Slade? <laughs> Those are tiny pieces. <laughs> I'll help you after the video. <laughs> okay, so I, it might would take me a little bit longer to finish this. Keep squishing it, squishing it, squishing it as you go. He's starting, that's a big shoe I gave him right there. I need to have a <laughs> shoe on this side. But now, this is your second project you can do with this. I would keep working on my little figure person. I could even give my figure person a base. I could get some cardboard. Um, you could have them strike a pose. I've done this in the classroom before where they've even made like a little basketball court with a basketball goal and he was flying in the air and get some hot glue and you can make your own little basketball goal and slamming it. Or if you just want to keep it when you're at home to do little pauses just to like bring your little guy here and strike a pose and working on your sketching. Now obviously, I need to work on mine some more. Um, you don't want to see any pipe cleaner, all right? You'd want to keep adding and fiddling with your person. Trying to, especially um, if you're a little bit older, kiddo, you want to work on trying to get that body in proportion. I and need some work too. Let's, let's <laughs> see it, <Slade. laughs> But most importantly, just have fun with it, okay? So this was the second part of our gesture uh, project with gesture drawing and gesture sculptures. Now I am working on some new things that I wanna bring more and more arts to the kiddos out there. So stay tuned for that. I would love to have any input. And of course, as always, send me your pictures. I hope you're having fun creating and be good. Is that what we need to say? Be good. Be good. Stay healthy, <laughs> wash your hands. Don't touch your face. That's right. <laughs> when, you're, when you're in town. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you.